नमस्कार वेलकम टू साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट इन टूडेज भिडियो वी आर गोईंग टू लार्न अबाउट द कन्सेप्ट अफ लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग इज ए फर्मिडेबल क्वांटिटेटिव टेक्निक अफ डिसन मेकिंग ओके एंड इट इज ए टेक्निक हुई इज भेरी मच यूजफुल इन द फिल्ड अफ वन सेटेंटी फर एक्जाम्पल बिजनेस एंड कमर्स ओके This technique was introduced for the first time in nineteen hundred forty-seven by a Russian mathematician George B. Danzig. Okay, and the name linear programming it consists of the two important terms. One is linear, and second one is programming. Okay, and the term refers to the relationship of the interrelated variables, which is of the form of a y equal to a plus b x. Okay. Where x and y are the variables of a power one, and a and b are the constants, right? Mm, the term programming means planning, okay? A way of action in a systematic manner with a view to achieving some desired optimal results. That is, a uh, minimization of a cost, or you can say maximization of a profits, right? And uh, linear programming. is a mathematical technique by which the optimal values of the structural variables are to be found out okay so as to optimize the objective function and subject to some constraints which are expressed in the form of inequalities some essential parts of linear programming are number 1 a set of non negative constraints okay and uh, this is to avoid getting negative solution in which we are not interested for example negative price negative output that means it is do not mean anything right and the uh, next one a set of linear constants representing the limitations and extensions of the factors available okay and number 3 an objective function should be there to be optimized subject to the above constant so these are the essential parts of a linear programming next we will discuss the assumptions of a linear programming first linearity the objective function to be optimized and the constants involve only linear relations okay they should be linear in their variables if they are not alternative techniques to solve the problem have to be found right and linearity implies pro proportionality between activity levels and the resources and constants are rules governing the process okay then second assumption is non negativity okay the decision variables uh, should necessarily be non negative in nature okay and the third assumption is additivity and uh, divisibility okay uh this means resources and activities must be additive and divisible okay and the next assumption is alternatives so uh, there should be alternative uh, courses of action with a well defined objective function to be maximized or minimized okay and the next one is finiteness activities resources constraints should be finite and known okay and then the next objective is certainty so prices and various coefficients should be known with a certainty that means prices of our goods and factors remain constant okay and uh, uh, there must be some structural constraint in the form of a inequalities that is of either a less than equal to type that means maximization problem or greater than equal to type which is uh, relates to minimization problem okay uh, next is types of linear programming generally linear programming problems are classified into two types one is your general or a primal linear programming and the second one is duality linear programming problem okay so in the next video we will discuss the general primal linear programming or the formulation of a linear programming problem involving maximization okay thank you have a nice day